Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box, and today I have a fun ballet-themed cookie decorating tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make five beautiful cookies, all for a fun birthday celebration or a dance recital. Let's cookie it up. The tutu cookie is obviously the feature from this set, and it has tons of beautiful details using some special tips. So let's jump in and see how this one comes together. First, I'll add a guide dot at the waist. That'll just help me with the outline on the top part of this tutu. I'm outlining the cookie using white piping icing and tip number two. For a review on icing consistencies, check out the Cookies 101 blog post on flowerbox.com. Now I'll outline the skirt of the tutu and I leave a little margin at the base. That's where we're going to add the ruffle. I have a tip number 101 on my white piping bag and I'm keeping the narrow part of that tip facing outward so that the icing is thin on the edge of the ruffle. Now I'm just going to bump and wiggle that ruffle into place. I'm just using a good hand squeeze. My icing is on the thick side so the ruffle holds its shape and I'll just pipe that ruffle going across the base of the tutu. If you see any little gaps in the icing, definitely use your scribe and fill those in so there aren't any visible gaps when the cookie is dry and finished. Now let's flood in the top part of the tutu generously with the white icing. Allow that to dry and come back in and flood in the pink on the skirt of the tutu. Once the skirt is dry, we're ready to add some details. I'm using a star tip number 13 and I'm piping it in a circular motion to create these cute little rosettes. Then I have my green icing and a tip number two to add those simple little leaves. Switch the tip on that dark pink bag to a tip number two and you're ready to add a piped accent line at the top of the tutu and a beadboard line at the bottom of the tutu. The beadboarder is just an overlapping series of teardrops. You pipe one teardrop and overlap the next one on its tail and it just creates this beautiful detail. Now we'll add a simple lace detail to the top I have a tip number one on my white icing bag. I pipe two lines and then I just use gentle hand pressure as I bump down that line, adding the little scallop. This is an easy detail, but it looks so pretty. We're almost done. Let's add some folds on the tutu. I have that tip number two on my light pink bag and I'm just adding some curved pipe lines to add the detail to the skirt. This star cookie is such a great accent cookie to this set. It comes together super easy, adds a lot of sparkle, and it also adds a pop of color. So we're going to flood in this yellow star generously with the icing, and then we're gonna cover it completely with sanding sugar. Now I find that sometimes this sugar can really sink into that freshly flooded cookie. So allow that icing to set up for about a minute before you add that sugar on top. That'll keep the sugar on top and not sinking into the base of the icing. To help contain the sugar, put your cookie on a coffee filter and the sugar can easily be funneled back into the jar so that you never actually touch the sugar and you can reuse it from cookie to cookie. Now you can also do this in pink and again this just adds such a pretty crunch and sparkle to this cookie set, this texture, and it's so easy. I do find that when you cover the cookie completely with sugar like this, it does extend the drying time. Sometimes the surface of those cookies can stay wet a little bit longer because the air can't get to the base icing. So allow a little extra dry time if you're packing those cookies. Usually I recommend 18 to 24 hours before packing the cookie. Let's take a look at this really cute tiara. This is such a fun cookie with this set. It has some stenciling on it and some pipe details and it just goes perfectly with this ballerina tutu. 
So I'm outlining both sections using my piping icing in tip number two and flooding in the main section of the crown nice and generously. Now allow that base icing to dry for four to six hours before stenciling on the surface. You don't wanna have any dents or dips into the surface of the icing. Notice I've clicked my stencil into a stencil genie. That just holds the stencil in place as I spread the icing across the stencil and gently remove the excess before lifting up. And there you have this beautiful ballerina on your tiara. Flood in the remaining icing on that cookie and we're ready to add some details. I'm gonna add some whimsical loops in yellow using tip number two, and I'll add a piped accent at the top of the crown. This is sort of a large scalloped line where I'm bringing the line up to the peaks of each of the points on this tiara. Then I'll add the bead border along the top and bottom of that base section. That just cleans up the transition between those icing areas. A few piped hearts. These are scallops that are piped individually and I'm just matching up those tails to create the heart design. And there you have a really cute cookie to go with your ballerina set. This set is almost done. Let's take a look at the wand. Now we're gonna be using that sanding sugar again. So we're gonna pipe and flood the star on the top. And once we have that, we'll add the sugar now before adding any more details. We really want that sugar just to stay on this area. Shake off the excess. And if you have sugar that's on the cookie, go ahead and just use a brush to brush off any of that sugar that you don't want. Let's pipe the handle. It is a white outline. And if you have any breaks like that, that happens, just pop your tip in there and add the little patch to connect those lines. And then flood that handle in generously with the white icing. Now we're gonna add some stripes to the handle. I'm just using an S curve with my light pink flood icing. And I found four lines fit pretty well in this space. This cookie is almost done. I'm just gonna add some ribbons and loops for the bow on the wand. This adds a really easy texture and a quick detail without a ton of work. I'm using both the light pink and the white icing colors just so that it matches the handle. And there you have a really sweet accent cookie. Here's the last cookie from this set. This is the ballet shoe. And we're going to add the pink outline on the slipper, and then we'll add the outline for the foot. Now I'm using Sienna piping icing for the foot. If you are looking for a review on how to make different skin colors, you can find them on flowerbox.com. Check out the Christmas Faces blog post, or you can also find a complete rundown on different skin colors in my cookie book, The Crafted Cookie. There are just tons of possibilities and you can personalize these cookies to your dancer. Flood in those areas and once they've had a chance to dry, you're ready to add the straps on the ballet shoe. Now I'm using tip number 44, that nice wide tip that I love to use to pipe thin flat icing areas without the need to pipe and flood. I have this star tip 13 on my icing bag and I'm adding just that circular motion to create the rosette and piping two leaves. And this simple cookie is done and ready for the recital. Now, if you need help planning your icing colors, extra ideas on how many cookies to make, or if you're looking to get these supplies, you can find them all on the blog post on flowerbox.com and the ballet kit on the kit section of the site as well. 
I hope you enjoy making these cookies for your special dancer. Until next time, happy decorating.